Today's movie is Expendables 3. If you are an 80s action fan like I am, you love Arnold Schwarzenegger, you love Sylvester Stallone, you probably love Dolph Lundgren, I didn't know. I don't know how many big movies he was a part of, or I don't know if he, we can categorize him as an action star, but he killed Apollo Creed, so you know him from there. You probably went and saw The Expendables 3, just like I did, and I am here to tell you it is a bad movie, but it is a bad movie which I liked. Now, you might be thinking, oh man, this guy's full of crap, why, why would I listen to him if he likes bad movies? But here I am going to tell you why it is a bad movie, and I am here to tell you why I liked it also. You're not gonna go see this because of its excellent writing or acting. What's the plan? Track him, find him, kill him. The welcome additions this time are Mel Gibson, Antonio Banderas, Harrison Ford. We were close once. We started this whole Expendables thing together, but we had a falling out. For some reason, Kelsey Grammer in this, is in this movie. Bruce Willis, who's not in this movie because he had to be an a-hole, because he wanted 2.5 million dollars more, because apparently 5 million dollars for three days. I mean, people are starving, but Bruce Willis wants his 7.5 million dollars for three days, because 5 million isn't enough for him. Apart from that, the new Expendables, you might as well go call them jabronis. They're absolutely worthless, waste of time, including Victor Ortiz, who is a boxer. Ortiz talking to Mayweather. And watch that. And including Ronda Rousey, who was an MMA fighter. I could do that. <laughs> Wanna slip on a dress and give it a shot? <laughs> I'm sorry. She has the personality of a rock. If you smell! Uh, no, not that rock. He, he, he's a good actor, though. She does not belong in this movie, neither does Victor Ortiz. And watch that. This movie is directed by Patrick Hughes, I believe. Patrick Hughes, I do not know what he has directed before this. You can see the action is not that well directed. The, the, the camera is always in the wrong place. Not always, I apologize. The camera goes in the wrong places at certain big events like like a, a motorcycle. You see a motorcycle flipping in, a, in, a, in an angle which is shot from sideways when you should be seeing it up front, which would be much cooler. Uh, the explosions are absolutely atrocious. Some of the worst explosions I've ever seen in my entire life. The one explosion you see in the trailer is the best explosion in the film. When the big building blows up, as you can see right now. Most of the, uh, most of the money which was required for the budget is given to the actors. Thus you see the atrocious CGI. So there it was, Expendables 3. If you've seen the first two, you're, you'll probably like it, the third one. If you saw the first two, and you didn't like the first one, God knows why you saw the second one. And God knows why you're gonna see this one, but if you saw the first two and you didn't like them, you're probably gonna hate this too. Yeah, that's about it. The, the thank you for listening to me. I'm reviewing a movie by myself for the first time. The last two times I tried was with different people. It's not that it didn't work. It just didn't work as well as I planned. Hopefully, this does. I hope you enjoyed me talking for a couple of minutes. I hope you enjoyed my beautiful face looking right into the camera. I hope you enjoyed my out of fashion shirt. And I hope you enjoyed my articulation of The Expendables 3. Insane. Courageous. But insane. These guys are nuts.